uh, my presentation. There are lots of jobs you can do within the travel and tourism industry. Many of these jobs means working with the public, so you need to be confident when speaking to people you don't know. I'm now going to talk about some different areas of the industry. Okay, okay so, uh, uh, so this is aviation. And... Uh, <laughs> Uh, well, this is um, uh, passenger service agents and uh, cabin crew, and uh, uh, they are uh, their ground handling, I think, and uh, I think that's dispatch. Yeah. Okay. Okay, and uh, cabin crew. So. Uh, the role of a cabin crew member is to provide excellent customer service to passengers while ensuring their comfort and safety throughout the flight. They are trained to deal with security and emergency situations which may arise and can administer first aid to passengers. Uh, cabin crew ensure that all emergency equipment is in working order prior to takeoff, and that there are enough supplies for passengers. Uh, they also help passengers to board the plane and give a demonstration of safety procedures and equipment. Uh, air cabin crews strive to make the flying experience a pleasant one for the passengers and will serve refreshments and meals and sell gifts and duty-free items and cabin crew may work on short or long haul flights. Uh, tasks may slightly vary on whether it's a long or short haul flight, on the size of the team you're working in, however, they typically include attending a pre-flight briefing at, at, um, um, during which air cabin crew are assigned their working positions for the upcoming flight. Crew are also informed of flight details and schedules, and if there are passengers with any special requirements, such as diabetic passengers, passengers in wheelchairs, or their number of infants on board. Oh, uh, oh, it's the wrong slide, sorry. Hang on. Okay, okay, it's the right slide. Oh, <laughs> okay, so I'm um, going to talk about visitor attraction jobs. Okay, so visitor attractions are theme parks, museums, zoos. Safari parks, historical buildings, monuments, national parks, art galleries, etc. Oh, uh, okay. So, uh, oh. Okay, so visitor attractions, um, theme parks are exciting places to work as you get to have a go on all the rides. Also, you get to spend time with customers who are all happy and having a great time. And uh, so other places you could work um, are tourist information centres. Um, okay, so... Um, these can be great places to work, especially if you enjoy helping others, advising them on days out and what there is to do in the local area. Uh, the job would be perfect for anyone who has lived in the local area for some time, 
or someone who enjoys researching and discovering out about a new place. You need to be able to use a computer, so there's lots of ticket booking and souvenirs to sell. Um, okay, so um, Bedford TIC are recruiting at the moment. Oh, no, it's the wrong slide again. Uh, okay, so Bedford TIC are recruiting at the moment and I have a job advert for them. Oh, and then. Okay, <laughs> there it is. That's their job advert. Um, so they're recruiting quite soon, um, if that's the sort of job that you're interested in. And um, so you can see the deadline um, and uh, they're looking for different sorts of skills and attributes as you can see there. Okay, so if you are interested in any of these jobs, you should know what qualifications and experience employers are looking for. Most employers want you to have a GCSE, Grade C or a Level 2 functional skills in Maths and English. If you have a qualification in Travel and Tourism, this will set you apart from other applicants and help you to secure a face-to-face -face interview. One of the most useful things to have is experience of working with the public in a customer service role. This could be paid work or volunteering. That's it.